three-month-old infant is pulled from a house fire, she has deep burns over 50% of her body and her nose and mouth are covered in soot. All right, you have your scenario. Grab your cheat sheets, whatever you're using. If you have a Brazel tape, remember, red to the head and head to the heel. And you can see this little one falls into the zone. And now to Scott for your quick tip. So when you've got this little one, who's not only burned to the body, but more importantly, has burns to the face as well. A couple things come into play. The first of which, to no surprise, is airway trumps everything. And why that's important is simple. The rule is if you're burned on the outside, you're probably burned on the inside. And more importantly, when it comes to little ones, remember that if you're swollen on the outside, you're probably swollen on the inside as well. And why that comes into play is remember little kids, their airways are described as being a funnel, meaning it's big at the top and small at the bottom. And whether it's for croup or in this case, whereas you've got soot covering the face, if you swell at the bottom of the funnel, a little bit of edema goes a long way. So take that one step further. Do you automatically have to intubate every little kid that has soot on their face? And the answer is absolutely not. But should you think about it, absolutely yes. And the rationale is simple and that's called, we can always put the tube in, but we can't always take it back out. So with that in mind, if there's any concern as to this airway is going to be a problem, very early on, put the child to sleep, give them something for pain, and before the poop hits the fan, go ahead and put the tube in. And that way, when the child gets to the burn unit, we can go ahead and do the bronch. They can take a look downstream and see how the airway actually looks. And if it looks really good, they can go ahead and just wake the child up and yank the tube. But if there's any worry in regards to this kid's airway, certainly supplemental oxygen for everybody. But more importantly, remember the American Lung Association summarizes it really nicely with their motto. Whereas if you can't breathe, nothing else matters.